Kelly, did you get ready just for this video? Yes, I did. I have my hair and my makeup just for this video. But I'm also wearing sweats. Because you can't see the bottom half. Oh, no reason to get ready than the bottom half. All right. Whew. Oh, shoot. Having a baby was one of the craziest experiences of my life. I loved being pregnant, but I feel like I have to rewind here a little bit. So it all started with this handsome guy right here. His name is Eric, and I fell madly in love with him. I married him. We started off with one dog, got another dog, and I honestly feel like I could make a whole other video about how we met and fell in love and got married because it is crazy. But we'll focus on Paxton for now. So let's go back to the day that Eric and I found out that I was pregnant. I feel like I could go into super deep detail about this whole story, but if I did, this video would probably be a million years long. So let's just start with, we found out that I was pregnant a couple days before we were supposed to go to Missouri with Eric's family for a wedding. <laughs> did everyone know that I had a bun in the oven? Yes, that's right. We kept it a secret the whole trip and it was a week long. Definitely the hardest secret we've ever had to keep. Then we went home. We told our parents, the rest of our family and our friends, and you could say that they were pretty excited. <laughs> <laughs> then we got to go on another trip with all of our friends to Oregon. We stayed in Hood River and we got to do a bunch of fun things like biking on trails. We also got to do jet skis, but we actually flipped one. This is a picture about five seconds after we flipped that jet ski. <laughs> How embarrassing. After that, we went home and I just started to enjoy being pregnant. I swear it took forever for me to look like I was pregnant. I was in the awkward stage for 90% of the pregnancy. It just looked like I had a belly and no one could actually tell if I was pregnant or not. But oh man, guys, did I have fun being pregnant. I insisted on being carried at random times and no one can deny a pregnant lady. I also got to eat pretty much whatever I wanted and everybody was so happy to get it for me. It's like the pregnant lady, you just gotta do whatever she wants. Cause it's for the baby. <laughs> But it wasn't all perfect. When I got to my eighth month, I started to get dizzy spells and I actually even fainted in church. Ugh, and it was so embarrassing. Top 10, no, probably top two of the most embarrassing things that's ever happened to me. But anyways, I was fine, baby was fine. But I did have to stop going to work. And that's when I got to stay home with my two baby girls. <laughs> and then for the next month, I pretty much just stayed home and took care of myself and made sure that I had the best place for Paxton to live until he was ready to come out into the real world. And then guys, ugh. On January 25th, 2017, our perfect little angel was born.
he weighed in at seven pounds five ounces and he was 19 and a half inches long and he was perfect Paxton Gray Harrison and let me tell you guys he is so much fun he is such a chill baby if you ask me or if you ask all the other people in our lives that have been telling us what a chill baby he is <laughs> he sleeps four to six and a half hour stretches at night, loves to study the detail in people's faces, and he is a morning person, and I have no idea who he got that from. However, there are some times he isn't all smiles. <laughs> <laughs> It is crazy to me what lengths people will go to, myself included, to make a baby stop crying. There's the rocking method. The walking method. The funny faces method. The funny noises method. <laughs> it's Donald Duck. The showing them foreign objects method. <laughs> What's this? Paxton. What's this? Oh my, oh my goodness. The imitating them cry method. <laughs> I don't think that works. <laughs> Just kidding. These moments are so precious. I don't want to miss any of them. And that's really why I made this video. I know that I'm a new mom and I have so much to learn. But if there's one thing that I have learned since I became a mom is that there is nothing I love more than my family that God has blessed me with. That even poop can be cute. <laughs>